I'm Rhonda Leggy with ETF Guide, and we're pleased to be with Rick Ferry. He's the founder of Portfolio Solutions and author of the ETF book. Rick, always great to catch up with you. Thank you, Ron. Thanks for having me. I want to talk about index mutual funds, which we've had for decades. And of course, the, the ETFs are kind of the new kids on the block. So should people be selling their index mutual funds in favor of index ETFs? What are your thoughts on that? Well, I've heard a lot of people say, sell all your mutual funds, buy ETFs. And the answer is no, that's not what you should be doing. Uh, you, first, you need to decide what asset classes you need to be in, and then you need to look at all the available product out there, including mutual funds, including ETFs, index funds, and perhaps other types of funds, and make a decision what you, what's the best way to hold that asset class. It might be an ETF, it might be a traditional fund, uh, but you don't want to just go out and just sell all mutual funds and buy, buy ETFs just because ETFs are now the hot thing. What about the different types of indexes? As you know, especially with the, the explosion of, in the number of ETFs, it's also meant the explosion in the number of underlying indexes that follow or are being followed. Talk, talk a little bit about how indexing has changed. Well, that's a good point. I mean, it used to be, you know, our father's index was, you know, the S&P 500, the uh, Barclays Aggregate Bond Market, uh, the EFI International. Uh, these were standard benchmarks that we used for many years to measure markets, and they were the first things that became index funds, and the first thing that became ETFs. Starting around 2003, we had a whole different range of indexes that, indexes that were created, which are called strategies, which took an investment strategy, embedded it in the index, and then the index providers then followed that active strategy. Gotcha. So it was very different. One last thing before you take off. What about the different categories of ETFs? Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so ETFs have evolved over the last 20 years since they've been around. They started out as the benchmarks, as I talked about, and then the second phase was the strategy where the uh, investment strategy was embedded in the index. Uh, the third phase was actually uh, called a hedge strategy where you had leverage, maybe leverage twice, three times, maybe it shorted the index, maybe you went long and short, so it was a hedge strategy and the final uh, way in which ETFs are being managed now is actively managed, where there's actually no index. You have a, a fund manager who's going and managers. Those are the four types of ETFs that are out there right now. You just heard from Rick Ferry, author of the ETF book and founder of Portfolio Solutions. I'm Ron Deleggi with ETF Guide. Thanks for joining us.